Hey guys, what's up? Once again, at mp4podcast.com, and I'm going to show you how to play Hulu videos on your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad with the Puffin browser. Let's start it right up. Now, first off, I want to show you guys a few things. And, well, well, first, let me load this up. Here's, as you can see, there's Hulu.com, and here's the video we're going to play. The following program is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Sony Make. Um, and we're looking at the um, hey there. commercial Revenge. loading. Star the upcoming action film Phase Three. As the family really, we'll go like this. And we'll go like this a little bit. Try to make it a little bit better. Yeah, so whatever. Now you guys can see the episode. It is a little choppy. Um. It's streaming probably about 10 frames a second. I'm not really quite sure how many frames per second. However, I do want to show you the, what you do have to do is you have to go into settings. Um, you have to go into load flag, and it has to be on auto. Let me just lower this for a second. Um, you have to load flash auto, okay, because when you get the browser, it's going to be uh, set to demand. So if it's set on demand and you see a flash uh, video, you have to tap on it and then it activates it. But for Hulu, it has to be on auto. Also, audio stream has to be on. Now the cool thing about this browser, who knows, maybe it'll get better uh, down the road and they'll be able to do more frames per second. The browser is $0.99. Cents. Um, I will say this, out of the three browsers I use for... Uh, my iPhone and my iPod Touch. Each one of them has gotten me out of a jam from trying to uh, trying to watch a certain flash file. Some like sometimes uh, Skype Fire will do a job better than uh, Cloud Browser. Sometimes Cloud Browser is better. Sometimes Puffin is better. I do want to state I would not really watch a um, Hulu video with uh, on the Puffin um, browser. I may watch maybe uh, a funny clip from uh, you know The Simpsons, uh, Family Guy, uh, John Stewart, The Colbert Report. I mean, if you're watching The Simpsons, it's it's a cartoon, so there might not be a lot of anim a lot of movement. Um, you know, if you're watching John Stewart or The Colbert Report, pretty much it's just a guy sitting there on a desk, and you know. It's going to be their mouth is going to be a little choppy, but really you're watching it more for the uh, the the audio commentary jokes. But I wouldn't watch like uh, uh, an hour, one hour, a one hour show or a half hour show on on the Puffin browser. Hopefully it will get a little bit better. Now, Cloud Browser can stream 30 frames per second. Um, I think you got to pay six seven dollars a month for the service. Um, and that's unlimited service, but it, it's it, I guess it it is blocked by Hulu. Uh, last time I checked, so it's not really um, that great of a deal. Um, this little guy is let you know um, the cloud browser is ninety nine cents. Skyfire is two ninety nine uh, for the iPhone version, iPod Touch. I think the iPad version is a little bit more. The Puffin browser is ninety nine cents. So for five bucks, you really do get. Um, a pretty good arsenal for uh, dealing with flash. Now I do want to talk about um, flash problems. I was trying to watch a video from Phil Bloom. He had a video up on Vimeo that was an hour long and I was trying to watch it on my HT Dream Kribble Android X which have native flash support 10 and um, the video was too long and I don't know what was happening. Neither one of the two phones could play it. Skyfire was able to play it. I was able to watch it. Um, you know, on Android, I was trying to um, watch the daily updates on IGN, and I couldn't watch those. Uh, even on uh, Cloud Browser, which is a full version of Firefox running on a server in Boston, I couldn't even watch that. Uh, Puffin Browser got me out of that jam. I was able to watch watch it for a second, and it played. So they all, none of the solutions to Flash. Uh, perfect. I probably had to say if I had to pick one, the the all best all around one, of course, is probably going to be the native Flash on Android. But even that is not perfect. 
Now the Puffin browser, and this in case you guys know, uh, don't know, the Puffin browser is on Android, but it's a very early release, and pretty much just supports YouTube. Um, there is a huge update coming to the Android version, which will probably play Hulu.com and a bunch of other stuff. So look forward to that in about maybe two weeks or a month. I do have the Android version that will be doing an update. But right now the iPhone version is pretty good, and it's, it's good for watching that video you know, on a site that you wanted to watch, but, you know, for some reason you couldn't watch it, you know, whatever, but it's really cool. Um, so once again, guys, if this video has helped you, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate having you as a, subscri as a subscriber. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to help any one of you guys out. Also, if you guys can help me out, please uh, thumb give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Um, if you guys want to help me out a little more, please favorite the video. Once again, guys, mp4podcast.com, signing out. Take care, guys. Later. Bye.